lives in a pineapple under the sea. Splash, splash, square fish! And yellow and porous is he. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the, the SpongeBob special. It came from Goo Lagoon. So this special is about when there is a bunch of these goos mysteriously appearing out of nowhere, and according to what Sandy explained, there's goo that comes from under the surface in Goo Lagoon, where it comes out, and it's very toxic, it's very dangerous, and of course, Plankton was there when he heard Sandy's explanation, so Plankton uses the goo to have another reason to take over the world so he could get the Krabby Patty secret formula. Why am I not surprised there? It Came From Goo Lagoon is one impressive Spongebob special. It's got a very creative idea behind it. The writers, you could tell, actually put an effort into the special. The first half of the special is really interesting because it was a build-up. I really do appreciate the fact that the writers took their time to actually tell the story. Like the goo part started after the first few minutes and then you know for that first half you see everyone having fun with the goo and how Sandy is trying to tell everyone to avoid it. I thought that was interesting how the first half was handled. It was a nice little build up to that nice second half and the second half of the episode wow it was so adventurous. I had so much fun. It was so cool. It was so epic. I didn't expect the adventure to be this big. This special, without a doubt, has one of the most adventurous SpongeBob moments I've ever seen. There was this one amazing shot where Sandy, SpongeBob, and Patrick, they're inside Sandy's little submarine and they're chasing after Plankton around this goo. And that shot when they were chasing after Plankton, looked tremendous. It was so beautiful looking, and the clear colors of the goo really made it that more special. I gotta say, it was actually really exciting. That second half of the goo in Bikini Bottom, and how they're trying to stop the goo, is really terrific. And it is by far one of the strongest points of this special. The storyline was very well written. How they handled the whole goo idea was very intriguing to me. I would say in terms of adventures, this is one of the best adventures that I've seen SpongeBob ever gone through. Sandy was just so plain awesome and her using missiles from her submarine kick ass. My flaws with the special, however, is that while I do appreciate the first half really building up and I still thought the first half was really interesting, it was really cool to see everyone have fun with the goo, I do feel like they took a little too much time just to build up to that whole big goo he heading towards Bikini Bottom. I think that should have started at least after the first seven minutes of the episode. We could have gotten a little more an adventure from there. It really does not start until the second half. So while I do really appreciate the first half because of the fact that the writers want to take time for build up and not just rush things out of nowhere, they did take a little too much time and because of that, the special, in my opinion, it did just waste some time. I also gotta say the humor in the special wasn't that good. In the first half, while really enjoyable, I chuckled a few times. I laughed maybe once or twice in the first half, but it wasn't really until the second half where I did laugh at some moments. Definitely a lot of misses in terms of humor. While the storyline is very well written, I do feel like it could have been structured a little better. As adventurous and awesome the second half of the episode was, the finale was very predictable. That's when I did feel like the special started to just get lazy from there. It's a finale, you already know what's gonna come. 
It was very lazy. It was very uninspired. It was very rushed. It was very choppy. The whole last few minutes of the episode was very underwhelming because this whole special, it was just so enjoyable. And that second half definitely just got better and better until that last few minutes came. It just definitely fell apart from there. It just really ended too quickly. The ending was a cop-out. Overall, I did have a lot of fun with Goo Lagoon. I think it's a very impressive special. It's very creative. It has one of the most adventurous and epic moments of Spongebob I've ever seen. I am going to give the Spongebob special, it came from Goo Lagoon, a 7 out of 10. And I do feel like it's a nice Spongebob special to start off the year 2014. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.